Good Thursday morning, everybody. A little bit of breaking news for you that I thought I'd share that couldn't wait until Sunday's news thing. So, um, you may have heard of a little mod for GTA 4 and 5 called Open 4. It's been around for about 10 years now, and basically it is the main mod that people use for their mods. So if you want to change anything in GTA 4 or 5, if you want to add a new car, change what the player looks like, fuck around as the Hulk or Iron Man or any of those kind of changing something mods, uh, it will pretty much most of the time be using Open 4. It is a, it's the backbone of the GTA modding scene. It's huge. It is an essential mod. And Take Two, the parent company of Rockstar and 2K Games, uh, just gave it a cease and desist, thereby pretty much killing GTA's entire modding scene in one fell swoop. I like that they hid this during E3. Really nice time to do that, guys, just so, you know, it gets pushed over by loads of gaming news that's coming out. But I've dug this out and I've decided to give it a bit of attention here because this is super fucked up and we need to act because we can't let this shit stand. We genuinely can't let this thing stand. Take Two have this massive throbbing erection for microtransactions at the moment. Incidentally, on the news, I think it was last week, I was talking about how the CEO of Take Two was saying, oh, we're undermonetizing all of our users. In fact, I think the most recent Jimquisition was about that as well. They actually had a quote of, like, we're not getting enough money from the users. And this is evident in GTA V, because as much as I love the single player, GTA Online is a piece of shite that is just a like, microtransaction laden hellhole, but it's affecting the single player. Because there are cars in the multiplayer, there's vehicles in the, the fucking Hydra is in the multiplayer, but isn't in the single player. You have to mod to get that in. So when I'm playing around, I, if you ever see me in a Hydra in GTA, it's because I've actually had to put in a mod to get it in the game. Because they, even though it's in the game, they won't put it in the single player. Why? Because they want people in the multiplayer, because that's when they can charge them again. So they're actively attacking single player content to make their multiplayer, which makes them money better, which is the shittier version. There's no fucking animals or anything running around the multiplayer. It's poo. It's a large part. For single player gamers, this is horrific. Now, in an attempt to push this even further, they've gone after, basically, the biggest single player mod. Open fork because it only affects the on the single player. It doesn't affect the online. It doesn't touch the online. This isn't hackers or cheaters or anything like this. This is people going, I fancy driving a Ferrari or I want to be Rick Sanchez in his UFO. That's the kind. It's the single player side that is under attack because they want to push people to the multiplayer to get those fucking man microtransactions down their throat. And I'm fucked off. I'm really fucked off about this because this is bullshit. It's absolute fucking bullshit. I'm going to be sending emails to all of the Rockstar contacts I have because this this has to go away. Because if this sets a precedent, it's going to go like fucking everywhere. I mean, there's literally the modding scene has been gutted. If you go on any any modding site for GTA 5 and look at like the featured things, I'd say fucking way over half of them use Open 4. Way over. Because everything that changes, any cars, any guns, any people, it's all that it uses this mod. This mod has been essential for 10 years now, and now they go, nah. Nah. I'm, gu I'm guessing the whales have dried up in their microtransactions, and they want to just push them a little bit harder. They want more people to go on, and they want more people to pay them fucking money. I'm sorry that you've only got the fourth best-selling game of all fucking time in GTA 5, and it's only two million away from becoming the third, which is Wii Sports, which I don't even count. The top one is fucking Tetris, which I don't even fucking count because there's a thousand versions of that. So basically it's the second best selling game of all time after Minecraft, which it might even beat. This could be the best selling game of all time. Do you know why? It's because you sold it three fucking times to everybody. Everyone bought it when it came out on 360 and PS3. Then they bought the next gen versions and then they bought the PC version to mod. And I've got a fucking thing scrolling across the screen right now of all the people that at fucking 3am, whatever the fuck I put up, replied to me going, no, I totally bought this for... Modding. That's the reason most people are buying the PC version, is to mod it. So, from this point on, I'm not covering any 2K games. No more GTA, no more WWE, uh, no more... Fuck, what else do they have? Uh, Mafia, uh, Kerbal Space Program, which they bought a few days ago. That was a bit of news, wasn't it? That, I hope that doesn't have a modding scene. I hope they don't start putting microtransactions in that, because you'll kiss your fucking mods goodbye. We have to do something. I'm going to try and talk to the things, but all of you, all of you, because you all fucking got a copy of it, go on Steam, you know what to do. Leave a negative review. Push that thing fucking down, because that's what gets press attention. When the press start kicking off about it, maybe they'll fucking do something. Because they go, ah, people, who gives a shit? Oh, the press are after us? Fuck. That's what you need to apply the pressure. That sort of shit there. That's what you need to do. 
show support for your modders. Let's get some modders, but we need to go on that score. That score's got to collapse, because that, that is one of the most headline-grabbing things that you can do. It's fucked up. So I'm, I, I'm genuinely very, very, very angry. Because so many people buy that game to mod it because it is the ultimate playground. And they've bought the game. These aren't people that fucking pirated the game. They've given you 60 fucking quid. I'm sorry that's not enough for the fourth best-selling game of all time. I'm sorry you're only making billions instead of trillions. But go fuck yourself. So from now on, no 2K content. I will sort things out. I'll try and talk to people. Um, but make some fucking noise. Spread, share, tell everyone you know. Make some fucking noise. Draw a line in the sand. We don't, we don't let this one pass. This is the mod that has to survive. We have to keep modding alive in games, because otherwise it's just gonna fuck off. It's gonna be illegal. And I've seen some people banning around going, well, it's, that's modding's illegal now, which is pretty much what Take-Two is saying. If they're offering a cease and desist, they're saying, what you're doing is illegal. They've said modding's illegal. In the eyes of Take-Two's lawyers, modding is illegal. So, let's kick up a fucking stink, alright?